This is Paul Barron here from Tinkertry, and I'm at the Nikivo booth at VMworld 2017 US. And today I want to talk to you. Anton. Can you help me say your last name, Anton? It's uh, Shalipchuk. Thank you so much. Or just Shalipchuk. And Anton, can you introduce who you're with? Yes. Uh, I'm with Bruce Tallinn, the CEO of Nikivo, the one and only. <laughs> Thanks, Anton. Just wanted to ask you a couple questions about Nikivo and Today is, what is it, August 28th, right? So what did you announce today? You want to start with Anton? Uh, yes, today we announced Nikiva 7.2 with uh, some of the new features, which uh, you can see right now we can run on natively on the Asus Store, uh, Asus Store NAS. We have the new features, the calendar dashboard, the SQL object level recovery, and the SQL log truncation. Some of the features customers really wanted, and now we have them. So you're welcome to download the new version of Nikiva right now on the website. Perfect. And then let me talk about that for a moment. So NFR code, trial code, right? So I'm a blogger, many bloggers come to my site, and many people just with home labs testing out software. So can you talk a little bit about trial keys and what you guys do to reach out to both certified folks, blogger folks, and just IT folks in general? Of course, of course. Anyone can go on the website, download the trial key. We have the trial for 15 days, which we can always extend. But for the bloggers, for uh, v experts for the VMUG members, we have NFR license codes, uh, good for two CPU sockets uh, for half a year, which they can test for free on, on uh, two CPU socket machines. And we have free editions, which has all the features included, uh, good for several VMs, uh, good for home labs and for uh, bloggers to try the software at home. All right, great. And Bruce, you had some parts of the new announcements and some other screens to show me. If you can give us a quick uh, overview of what the news is. Sure. So, so in a little more detail, the great story today is we're, we're announcing Azure Store. It, has, uh, it gives us the ability to deliver 2x the performance for VM backup over any other software-based solution. It adds to our line of, uh, of solutions including QNAP, Synology, and Western Digital. The reason why it can be two times faster is because we eliminate the need for NFS and SIFs. So it takes out all that overhead and just pulls the data directly from the VMware environment and puts it into our deduplicated, compressed um, repository. Some other cool features that we have today uh, is the job scheduling uh, calendar. It's a really cool interface. It's kind of like your calendar for work and your meetings. This is all that you move things around, your jobs, as to what you're backing up and when. It gives you a great visual view on what you're doing. Moreover, we introduce SQL object re recovery. You can recover back to source, back to, um, to another location. Makes it very easy to, um, to, to back up SQL and recover from it. Uh, in addition, we already support Active Directory, Exchange, and Files. In addition to that, so your servers don't crash when they fill up with SQL, um, we actually clean up the logs every time with log truncation. So we have that built in, and it uh, takes care of all this pr preventative work to keep your servers from filling up with too many log files. So the overall value proposition is install and click, get it up in one minute. You can have 2x the performance, and you have global deduplication and compression. And it uh, is working in within probably a minute, and you can recover your files, your objects, within 30 seconds. And oh, by the way, we're two times faster on NAS devices than any other software that's VM-based. All right, so your code is rather flexible, installing on many different vendors, NASes, which uh, are all Linux-based, right? That's right. Yep, so, so far there's no exceptions there, although QNAP does some creativity with Windows also, but your products are all based on a basic uh, Linux script to install your code on the NAS. We can also install yep. Windows, but it's Linux Yep, oh, important point. Yes, you install on Windows as well. Okay. Well. Thank you very much for that uh, overview. So in case you didn't quite get that, what the, one of the distinguishing features there is that you install on many different NASes. And that physically separates you from the hypervisor. So you might have a one gig or even a 10 gig cable dropped to some of the NASes these days. And it might be at least located on the other side of an office or across a metro park or another, another building. Not bad ideas for uh, data, re data resilience and uh, recovery from disaster. So, all right, well, thank you very much for both of your time. Appreciate it.